Hello. Hello, friends. Hi. <laughs> All right. Hello, my friends. Hello. I, I am out here at Mount Shasta with my beautiful friend, my fairy friend, uh, Kaya, and we are going to take you on a tour of her, of her Toyota Sienna, 2008 Toyota Sienna that we converted. Yes, uh, we started working on this in Arizona up in Prescott where it was cooler and we built out her floor and her bed and um, then she took off on her adventure before I got a chance to see it. Yes, I was so, in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, she was in a hurry to get out of the heat yes. and so um, we kind of went our separate ways. She started her journey and I started my trip up north for Washington for the summer. And uh, now I am in Shasta and having some time with her and she's going to take you on a tour of her van so you can see what it looks like after all of the work we put into it and all of the fine tuning she did and making it a personal space and making it her home. That and I now live in and love in. Yeah, and she lives in the most beautiful place and uh, we'll show you a little bit of that too. But for now, I'm going to uh, follow Kaya around as she shows you her van. Check out my little hoo. La, la, la. All right, so first thing we did was make her floor and then we worked on her bed. And so I'm gonna have her show you how she put her bed together, um, what she's using for padding and her storage under there and what's under her floor and what she's using for that. And then we'll walk around and show you all of her other wonderful little special treasures she's got going on in there. So here we go. Okay. So this is the bed that I, I chose to have the bed uh, side to side because I'm really short. I'm only five feet tall. So I figured if I fit this way, it would provide a lot more space in the van for me to have room for other stuff. So uh, we built the bed um, and I, I have this little padding here. Um, I actually started with a, I think it was like a three inch, three inch padding, but turns out I didn't like that much padding because I like to feel like I have something firm underneath and so at first when I was sleeping on three inches it felt like too much um so then I just completely took it out and then I was laying directly on the plywood which was a bit too firm like hurt my hips um so then I took the three inches and cut it in half um so now it's about like one and a half inches and that's perfect for me um just because I really like the firmness um when I'm sleeping but other people seem to do fine with three inches just didn't work well for me um but yeah so this is my bed um, I fit really nice and snug, but comfy side to side. And we did, uh, when we built the bed, we made it connected over there so that she goes all the way across. Mm -hmm. Ta -da! And it's perfect. And then it's, uh, it's got a good amount of room underneath. I was able to get these, um, these storage bins that I just keep a lot of the stuff that I, that I need. Um, like I have some of my, all my cooking stuff. I keep like, um, extra medications and stuff, supplements that I take, um, extra like plugs and wires are all up in here. Um, I've got some other random gear, like if it rains, I've got my poncho, um, some extra toilet paper and, um, some things I use for cooking, but I think most of that stuff is in the other bin. Um, this one is really cool because I, I usually tend to access this from the front of the van, and then this one I'll access from the back, just because I have drawers on the other side that get in the way. Um, so I access this from the back, and this has like some of the stuff I cook with. This is an induction cooktop that I use, um, powered by my solar, which I could show you in a bit. Got my pan and some other cooking stuff. This is my little uh, kit that I use for cleaning when I go wash in the spring. I just have a little towel and I fill this with soapy water and wash myself down. I've got extra paper towel and stuff. Some laundry detergent, which I haven't used yet. I haven't done laundry yet because I've barely been wearing any clothes out here. Um, but yeah, and then it all just fits really nice and snug under the bed. Um, and then I've got extra storage down here. We created this, um, this hatch door. Uh, this is where the seats for the Toyota Sienna used to fold down into, but we took the seats out and then created uh, all this extra space that I use for storage more when I'm traveling. Um, when I'm stationed in one spot, I can take a lot of stuff out and, um, 
keep it like in a tent or some other area but when I'm on the road I can use I can use all this space to um just store a bunch of that extra stuff that needs to come with me um and other than that it's just an area that I have space I usually keep like a bin of food here like dry food products here and um a jug or two of water and yeah that's that's the back area oh we're so sexy we're so sexy <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna take you inside the van yeah let's go into my and, little home uh, show you the fairy fairy which she has dubbed this beautiful little home of hers so i'm going to follow her around in there and she's going to show you all of her special little spots she keeps things and maybe some little things that you might not think about that can help you um, build your own little space with like hooks or binder clips or you know curtains and and shelving and things like that so i'm gonna flip it around and follow kaya inside Ha! Well, first off, there's the butterfly. We can't forget the butterfly because that's what symbolizes my freedom and uh, leaving the cocoon and becoming a butterfly with uh, my wings to fly and go off and do all the things that make me so happy. And so this is the inside. This is the front side of, of the bed, um, which we've already talked about. And then I've got... Um, these are my drawers where I keep, it's mostly my clothes and some toiletries, um, pretty much, yes, like clothes and they're plastic drawers and they've been really good. They don't like tend to open on their own when I'm driving. So that's just been nice and convenient. I have some of these like bags that help with like space saving and such. Um, and this is like, I've got my toiletry bag here and, um, just some supplements and things like that I use more regularly that I want easy access to. Um, and of course, my speaker here for my music because my music is my life and that's always on hand. Um, I also have my little altar with some of the stuff that I've been gifted or stones and things that I uh, have collected over the years and my little manifestations that I change on occasion. Um, here's just a a card from a, a reading that I got um, and some other things that really mean a lot to me um, from friends and people that I love and my little drum <laughs> and yeah and then I've got a little bit of decor up here I've got um, some art stuff and this tapestry uh, which I fixed my lights to um, which I use at night and then I actually hooked the light the box for the light um, underneath just so it's out of the way um, but that's that's where it's at and then I can kind of just press the button from here and get my lights on which um, at night it's probably easier to see in the dark um, but I've also got another light which I use when it's dark just to see what's going on in here and um, get around so that's that and then um, I've got I've got this um, that I'm using kind of as a divider to separate the front driving space uh, from the rest of my home. And these are attached with these binder clips, um, which are really simple whenever I need to like hop in the front or make it turn into a car instead of a home. And I just need to pull this down so I can see the windows and such. Uh, it just comes right out. And then when I want to hang it back up, it just slides right in there. Just hook it right in there and it stays in place. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, and yeah, I put this behind the seat just to help keep some things organized that I use regularly. Um, so I've got some of my like notebooks and things cause I like to write a lot. Um, that's just a book about creativity cause I'm definitely trying to create more space for creativity in my life. Um, and yeah, I keep, I keep a spray on hand that's um, a mix of vinegar and some essential oils. And that's what I use uh, just for like quick, easy cleaning. Um, you know, if I'm like using the bathroom or something, I always want to make sure that I'm sanitized. I've got some sanitizer here as well. Um, some other toiletry items, tampons, and um, some of the things I use like magnesium spray. This is some CBD oil that I was gifted. That's really good. Um, I've got a water pick that I 
that helps me keep my oral hygiene in good shape because it can be challenging when you don't have running water um, to stay on top of that so the water picks great um, and I've got some other just supplies down here like scissors and tape um, some other essential oils that I use for like bugs and stuff um, yeah some just other random stuff I have a spoon here um, I've got some like paper towel down here towel and wipes that I that I have on hand for when I need them and then it just all tucks away and it's all neat and clean when I'm not using it um, yeah and then I've got I've got this fridge here that's what I'm using for um, perishable foods and uh, this is really great I'm, I don't remember the size of it I think it was like 30 quart or something around that I wasn't sure how much I would need but this actually turned out to be perfect um, I just went with what I thought I didn't want anything that would be too big and take up a lot of space in the van um, but also wanted to have enough space for my food and this was perfect um, I just kind of keep things in there and I'll try to cook and uh, refrigerate so I have leftovers so I don't have to be cooking all the time because I'm out here wanting to adventure and not spend a whole lot of time cooking but also want to make sure that I'm keeping up with good nutrition and not just eating like packaged foods all the time. So yeah, that's the fridge and the fridge plugs into my battery. Um, that's a all in one power station that I chose. It's a Pecron uh, E1500. Uh, this thing has been really great. I wasn't sure what my power needs would be and how it would work out. Um, but this has been really great helping me keep um, everything charged up. The fridge is probably my biggest power consumer. Um, but I also went and got the induction cooktop um, because I was using like a camp stove at first. And I was just running through a lot of fuel. Um, and I realized I have free power from the sun. I'd rather not pay for fuel if I don't need to. And because the battery is as hefty as it is, it's plenty to store uh, a lot of power. And so now I'm using an induction cooktop to cook with. Um, and so that plugs right in here. The fridge plugs in here. Um, I'm also charging up all my devices because I work remotely. So I've got a laptop and I've got a tablet. And then, of course, my phone and all the other stuff that I'm charging, like my speaker. Um, and occasionally my water pick and whatever else. So that's what I'm using that for. And um, the battery is plugged into... Uh, well, it had a, I had to drill a hole through the roof. And so that's where the... The solar panel that's on my roof comes down, the wire comes down here. So I just put a little bit of fabric over it so it doesn't look so ugly. And um, now instead it looks like pretty. And I've got these clips that I'm using to connect it, uh, keep it attached and out of the way, especially when I'm driving. I don't want it hanging over my head. So it's secure down there. And then it comes behind the seats and goes right into the battery. And then I can show you the solar panel up top. Me. I can see you, peekaboo! <laughs> All right, are we rolling? We're rolling. All right. So this is the solar panel. I I forget. I think it's around uh, 400. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 435 watts. Um, and so it's it's really large. I actually got this um, recycled. It was used. I got it from Santan Solar, uh, which is a great company that takes used solar panels from like industrial uh, places and uh, utilizes them by recycling them so that people can afford them and uh, at a much better rate because they're used but they still have a whole lot of life in them and so I got this I got a really good deal on this 435 watt panel and it's really big so it covers the whole roof of the car but it's great because on days where maybe I'm not getting so much sun it's cloudy I'm still pulling in a good amount of power um, although out here it's been mostly sunny every day but um, it might not always be the case especially if I'm traveling to other places where or in the winter time where there's just not as much sun um, I'm still making sure that I'm pulling in as much power as I can with this really large and efficient solar panel uh, which is attached to my battery and um, is keeping me fully powered up in all situations so it's really great I'm really happy with how this turned out um, it was a little bit challenging figuring out how to affix it to the roof just because of how big it is and um, where the roof rack was and all that um, but with the help of my friends we ended up finding a solution um, using these uh, heater hoses I believe they are um, they're like a plumbing supply but we basically use them 
kind of like you would zip ties in a way where we just kind of attached them to the roof rack and didn't have to make any uh, adjustments to the car itself. We didn't have to drill anything into um, the roof or the or the roof rack like we were initially thinking we might have to. We just drilled a hole through the sides of the of the actual panel. Um, and this way it can be removed if I ever need to remove it or repair anything. I can easily remove the, the heater hoses, just unscrew them and um, and then take it off and do whatever I need to do, whether it's take the panel off or just repair it. Um, but other than that, it's been it's been holding up really well. These things don't seem like they're moving or going anywhere. Um, maybe eventually will need to be replaced, but they've been holding up really well so far. Um, so yeah, this is the solar panel. All right, she's showing us the inside, the solar panels, the outside, and I know for a fact that there are going to be comments wondering where her bathroom is. Where do you go to so, the bathroom? Tell us, Kaya, how do you go to the bathroom? All right, so we all need to go to the bathroom. That's a reality of right. life. Yes. And I do that too. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Oh my god. Well, as it turns out, where I'm staying right now, um, I'm not far from a trailhead and there's a real bathroom there. So that's mostly what I've been using and go to the bathroom while I'm staying here. But I have a backup plan because I don't plan on being here forever, as much as it might be nice to be. <laughs> I don't plan on always having a bathroom nearby. So, all right, let me spin this around. Show them the magic. <laughs> That's where the magic happens. So, in one of these bins that I have back here under my bed, I've got two options for bathrooms. One is this quick, easy little jar. If I just need to tinkle a bit and I don't want to have to go outside, or if I don't have the privacy or ability to do that, uh, or just don't feel like it because I'm really tired and lazy, I can just open the jar and voila, just tinkle in the jar. And then get rid of the urine somewhere and hopefully find somewhere to sanitize it. But there's another option because there needs to be two options because there's a number two sometimes. And that's this Trip Tips Little Potty. And so it folds up real nice and small. And I haven't had to use it yet, but I know there will be a time where I will. So it's all clean, don't worry about it. And it folds down real nice and small. But when you need to use it, just open it up. Give it a little twist so everything's locked up. And there's potty bags inside. So we just take one bag and put it inside. And then, there we go. Hop on top. If you need the full visual effect, that's all there is to it. Pop a squat and go. Woohoo! <laughs> So, Miss Kaya is also a remote worker, so she gets to work in these beautiful locations like I do. And uh, she's so going to show you her setup for outdoors and when she needs to work indoors for weather or um, just shade or, or a change of scenery. So, um, I'm going to have her show you what she's got set up for her laptop and her tablet and how she works through her day. And then we'll take you inside her van and she'll show you in there. <laughs> so on days where it's nice and the weather's great and it's not too sunny and I just want to be outside looking at this glorious view that I'm so thankful to have, uh, I just set up my little workstation anywhere outside where there's a good amount of shade. Um, I've got this little foldable chair um, that's perfect for me to sit on and I've got uh, this table that folds up it folds up real nice and small. These legs uh, come right out and uh, fold down and then can be stored right inside the table itself. Um, and then there's this, which kind of, when I want to close it up, it folds out and folds down underneath. Um, and if I need more space, because I've got like, you know, my laptop and then say a tablet and another device or whatnot, um, I can slide this out to adjust it to however much space I need. And then I will just have my my laptop here and um, I've got my tablet that I generally use for work and uh, and that'll kind of sit right there near it. I can just set it up right like so um, and voila I just sit here and 
do my thing and have this beautiful view and it hardly even feels like work especially when I have my music going or I'm just listening to the sounds of the birds and watching the chipmunks crawl through and occasionally a deer friend and it's just great for it's a good little setup that's so easy compact and um, really easy to move to if I want to adjust or if the Sun somehow starts hitting me just pick up the table and adjust and turn around and I'm all good to go keep working getting the stuff done and that's my outdoor setup um, when I want to work indoors in the van because maybe it's too sunny or it's rainy or um, it's not great I just uh, take my little handy table and I go inside the van and in order to make it fit I just take two of the legs like so take them off and then it sits real nice right here in the van and I'll just sit here and this becomes the seat and I just take my laptop set it up right here in the van and I've got my tablet set up there and then I just start working in the van and I've got shade and I've actually got this little fan that I've been using um, because sometimes it could get hot in the van and um, I just have my fan and there's a light on it too so if I wanted to work at night and it's kind of dark in the van and I don't want to have to run my lights because I don't want to drain my battery I just have this light and it's a fan and it's actually an essential oil diffuser too. So sometimes I get to have all kinds of nice pleasant smells while I'm working. And um, voila, I just sit here and do my work and that's really all there is to it. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so another uh, factor that I had to consider was that I have a lot of windows and I want privacy and I don't always want the sun in the van. I don't want it making it more warm than it already is in summertime. So to cover up my windows, I got this Reflectix material um, that you can see right here. And I cut it down to size to fit the different windows. Um, and, and then I took some fabric that I like because I didn't want to have to be looking at Reflectix all the time. And so I kept the Reflectix on the one side that faces outward to reflect the sun. And then on the other side where it's facing my little home. I got some different fabrics that uh, was gifted by a friend and uh, I kind of cut it down to fit the size of the Reflectix that I had cut. And then um, I took duct tape and I lined the outsides um, just so that A, it would fit together nicely um, and also just that it would be easier and have like a little extra stiffness at the ends so I can fit it, stick it up into the window and it would stay. Um, and I used an adhesive spray to uh, stick the fabric onto uh, the Reflectix material. And then I just slide it into the windows and for the most part, it sits pretty nicely in there. Um, especially if you get the size right, which um, I did mostly. Uh, some of them don't fit perfectly and I probably need to fix those up a bit. But for the most part, uh, they're all up in the windows and they've been doing a really good job at keeping the sun out, giving me privacy and shade, and also having it look pretty on the inside. Um, I chose to get uh, to use a few different fabrics just to make it a little bit more colorful. Um, so I've been using these for the back four windows and um, Having the different ones for different windows also helps me when I'm taking them down so I need to drive and then I want to put them back up. It's easier to be like, oh, these are the ones that go in the front because these are different different fabrics. So I have the two front ones with this fabric. I've got the four in the back um, with that fabric. And then my very back one, the one that I've been having the most trouble with because it's kind of an awkward, large um, size and shape for a window. Um, but I use a different, I use a different fabric. This is probably my favorite uh, fabric of all. Um, but I'm using that for the back window. And um, for the most part, it's working great. This one falls out a little bit, so I'm probably going to need to 
remedy that maybe with a little, um, I don't know, a magnet or a Velcro or something that I can stick in the window and stick behind here um, just to keep it in place. But it's been holding up really well. So um, yeah, it's been, it's been great for privacy and shade and keeping the temps down in the van, keeping things cool when I'm working in there or sleeping in there or just chilling out in there. Um, so yeah, those are my window covers. All right, well, there you go. A tour of Kaya's van, her fairy fairy, yes. out here in Mount Shasta. And um, I hope this helps you set up your own van if you're just getting started. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments. Um, we both love hearing from people. If we can help you in any way, If please... you have any doubts about whether or not you should do it, do, do it, it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it is it. so worth it. Yes. You will not regret it. No. So please just leave us comments, say hello. Uh, we love interacting with people. And um, yeah, there you go. Uh, to Toyota Sienna 2008 minivan camper conversion. <laughs> All right, well, you know what time it is. It's, it's time, time to, to dance! dance.